This morning, family, friends and officers, they will be walking in the Cops Walk Southwest 2020. It's to honor fallen officers here in the valley. So this morning, Maria is in Buckeye where the opening ceremony has just got underway. Maria, good morning. Hey, good morning. We are underneath the cover right now, but we have about 40 people about to hit the pavement and walk 12 miles today, 13 miles tomorrow, total of 25 miles, all to honor those who've lost their lives in the line of duty. So you can see right here, it is nice and comfortable inside. Uh, they just wrapped up the opening ceremony. So before we talk to Pol Buckeye Police Chief Larry Hall, I want you to take a look at this video. So this is Officer Rolando Torado. He's a Buckeye Police officer killed in May 2011, only 37 years old, a military veteran who left behind a wife and two kids. Uh, he died while working an off-duty security shift after stopping an erratic driver in a parking lot near 35th Avenue and Buckeye Road. The passenger got out and shot him in the back. And so his wife is out here today. We haven't had a chance to reach her just yet, but we do want to bring in Chief Larry Hall right now. Uh, this is quite the event. I mean, 25 miles walking in the rain and, and, and all for uh, really never forgetting those who've risked their lives. That's correct. Yeah, we this is our, uh, we do this event annually, Cops Walk Southwest. And it's a fundraiser for the National Concerns of Police Survivors Organization. But, uh, you know, this is our second year doing it in, within the city of Buckeye. And, uh, you know, it's our, um, it's our commitment to not forgetting the memories of not only all the officers that have, we've lost, in the line of duty, but also our officer, which is Rolando Torado. What do you remember about him? I remember he was an extremely funny individual. He was, he could, uh, he was, he was uh, but he cared a lot at the same time. He would rouse people all the time, but he had a very caring heart. And he always, as a school resource officer, he was always worried about the kids. And he always, uh, uh, he would always intervene when things were going south with kids. And, he, and for some reason, he always knew when something was up, when something was going on with, an, with uh, some of the kids were like they were about ready to make a bad decision, and he would always intervene before the decision was made. So, he uh, he definitely was trusted. He was admired by a lot of those uh, kids at uh, Yonker High School, and uh, and his coworkers also admired him as well. And I know it, so his family out here, other fallen uh, police officer families. In fact, you have one that you wanted to introduce me to right behind you. Right, where'd she go? Oh, uh, this is yeah. Hi, Hi. 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 good morning, Maria. With morning. Channel Three, I know I didn't get to talk to you earlier, but tell us a little bit about Nick and just uh, what it means for you to be here. Um, well, Nick was with Phoenix PD. He lost his life in 2007, and this is actually my first cops walk. My niece convinced me to do this, so I'm doing this um, with her, which is exciting. And I think you know, Nick was would probably be looking down at us and laughing right now because it's pouring rain, and he loved a practical joke more than anybody. So um, we're excited to do this. This is been an organization that's been extremely helpful for my family, for my sons. They've taken advantage of the programs. We've all taken advantage of the programs, and they really have been with us every step of the way, and so we're, we're glad to do this for them. And speaking of steps, you'll be stepping in the rain. It's going to be a pretty tough walk. What is that going to symbolize for you? Uh, you know, this is really nothing compared to what our officers go through on a regular basis. I mean, imagine being out in the heat, 110 degrees for hours at a time in a full uniform. So this is, you know, obviously a little bit inconvenient for us, but it's it's a good way to recognize our officers and the sacrifice that they made. All right, and you have such a strong heart, a strong spirit. I know you've been through so much. Your husband as uh, his end of watch September of 2007, and so uh, I know you are a very strong widow out here surrounded by so much support. So thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning, and I hope you feel uh, surrounded by love. So have a good walk. You look thank prepared. You. you have your <laughs> rain jacket on. So again, a lot of people today not letting the rain stop them from doing what they had scheduled today so everyone's decked out in their ponchos in their blue we even have a cowboy hat all nice and lit up over here so that's what's happening we're live in Verado again this is a neighborhood in Buckeye just north of the 10 and uh, west of the loop 303 and they are getting ready to head on out uh, for for this special event ladies back to you